Beat Blaster is an auto-runner VR game that's impossible to control in tilt mode. Game over. Once you realize that in order to actually play the game, you have to change it to move mode, the game can be pretty fun. Your only goal is to make it to the end of the level with just your trusty guns, and to make sure that you hit every checkpoint along the way. Each level adds one new challenge. There's new kinds of doors that you need to shoot a lock to open, new enemies that explode in multiple directions, whatever the heck this guy is, and others. Each level also keeps all the old elements, so you'll progressively face harder and harder challenges. Sometimes the RNG can completely screw you over, and you'll be dead as soon as you open a door. Or the door won't open. Game over. While this can be frustrating, it doesn't happen consistently enough to completely ruin the experience. The only tip I have is to go slow. You have a lot more time than it feels like you do, even when the game warns you that you have no time left. Beat Blaster is just simple fun, but the developers clearly didn't understand how trophies work. There's a trophy for beating each level, including a Platinum for beating level 30. Except, that's not how Platinum trophies work. So you'll actually get it when you get the last gold trophy for beating level 29. But that's it. Run, shoot stuff, get trophies. I mean, what more could you ask for in the game?